Hey dudes, here's a quick tutorial on how to put custom graffitis in Markeko's getting up. Let's see what we'll need. Obviously the game, I highly recommend buying the Steam version for hard and cash or download it from Steam Unlocked. You didn't hear it from me. Vinware or 7zip for archives, Notepad Plus, some sort of image editing software which can handle DDS files such as GIMP or Photoshop with their respective DDS plugins, Microsoft.NET Framework, at least version 4.0, and the fanmade getting up tool which I have nothing to do with. You can find all necessary links in the description. So download the getting up tool and unpack its content somewhere. Open form 1 CS with notepad plus, control F and search for steam path here. Upon finding it type in the path to the game's root folder with all the commas and whatnot as seen here. If it's a steam version it's most likely gonna be what you see here. If it's a different one then use the appropriate path. Save the file then exit notepad plus. Find out where is the NET framework on your computer, it, it's most likely under C, Windows, Microsoft.NET, Framework, V4.5 or something similar, copy this path. Open a notepad and paste the following. In the first line after path is the exact path that you just copied, so just enter it. You can find these lines in the description as well, just be careful to use the correct path and version for your NET framework. Then save as make.bat, important not in txt but point .bat. Then place this newly made make.bat in the folder where form1cs and other files for the getting up tool are. Run make.bat and if you've done everything correctly, after a bit you will find a getting up tool.exe in a newly created bin and release folder. Run the tool. If all's fine then it's already found the game files which you can browse on the left side. Graffitis can be found under engine, textures, tag art. Most graffitis have three different textures with ending underscore f, underscore s and underscore u. F is the main image and its transparency aka the alpha channel. Underscore S is the outline and its alpha channel. Underscore U is the incomplete, in progress state of the graffiti. So find the graffiti that you want to replace, find its texture ending with underscore F and click export DDS. Open this DDS file with your editor. For Photoshop check load transparency as alpha channel and edit away. After you're done, save your image as DDS with the same file name, preferably overwriting the original DDS file. Then back in Getting Up Tool, find the original image, click on Import, choose the modified DDS, then click on Replace Texture, and that's pretty much it. If you want to change the outlines too, export, edit, import and replace the file ending with underscore s in the same fashion as you did with the first image. I'm not really a Photoshop guru, but I guess the Find Edges filter or a simple desaturate could work. For the full effect you could edit the file ending with underscore u, here you only have to change the image on the RGB channel. If you want the new image to appear in your black book too, which is kind of a nice thing, go to engine, inter fc, front end, tag art, find the correct image, export, edit, import and replace just like you did with the files beforehand, then you can close the tool and start the game. If all's fine you can see the new image in your black book and you can paint your new custom image on the walls of new radius. This process works with marker tags, posters, etc. For these it's easier not to check this low transparency stuff. However, I had problems with these certain bigger images. My Photoshop didn't want to open these and when I tried to replace these with brand new DDS files the tool gave me an error message. Too bad I guess. Um, and anyways that was it. If you have any questions and such feel free to leave a comment. Have fun. Cheers.